हेलो वेलकम टू आर क्लासेस आई एम डॉक्टर के के मिश्रा मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन ऑन ऑन्टरप्रीनरशिप डेवलपमेंट पार्ट थर्ड एन एफर्ट टेकन बाय मी टू प्रोवाइड यू मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन ऑन सम स्पेसिफिक सब्जेक्ट्स आई हैव डन दिस फॉर मार्केटिंग ऑफ सर्विसेज नो आई एम डूइंग इट फॉर ऑन्टरप्रीनरशिप डेवलपमेंट If time permits, I will be taking up even other important subjects as well. This is in view of the scheduled examinations to be held for MBA final year students. Now come to directly the questions in this part third on entrepreneurship development. Question number one: Decisions which are concerned with policy matters. and exercise fundamental influence on the objectives of the organization are called as thus a organizational decisions b personal decisions c routine decisions d strategic decisions so here correct option is d strategic decisions dash is a problem solving technique designed to produce numerous ideas in a short period a synaptic b delphi technique c brainstorming d normal group technique ngt so here it's c brainstorming is the correct option question number third das is the systematic development of a project idea for the eventual purpose of arriving at an investment decision options are a project identification b project formulation c project feasibility d project evaluation so correct option is b project formulation question number 4 the process of preparing an inventory of skills needed for effective implementation of the project is called as dash a economic viability b financial feasibility c technical feasibility d managerial competence correct option is d managerial competence question number 5 dash implies the availability or otherwise of plant and machinery and technical know how to produce the product options are a economic viability b financial feasibility c technical feasibility and d managerial competence so here correct option is c technical feasibility now move to next slide question number 6 cpm stands for dash continuous path method b clear path method c critical path method d critical probabilistic method correct option is critical path method question number 7 dash is granted to small scale units under section 33b of the income tax act 1961 options are a depreciation allowance b development d rebate in fact here it is c investment allowance and d rehabilitation allowance so correct option is d rehabilitation allowance <clears throat> question number 8 dgt d stands for dash a directorate general of technical development b district general of technical development c district general of taxation deduction d directorate general of taxation deduction correct option is a directorate general of technical development question number 9 a provisional ssi registration certificate is valid for a period of das a 4 years b 3 years c 2 years or d 1 year obviously it's d 1 year is the correct option Question number ten: National Alliance of Young Entrepreneurs (NAE). Normally, it is spoken as NAE. That is again, it sounds appealing. 
National Alliance of Young Entrepreneurs sponsored an entrepreneurial development scheme with Bank of India in options are January 1920, B, August 1920, C, January 1972, D, August 1972. So it's D, August 1972. Question number 11. Which of the following is not one of the four M's? A. Motivation B. Management C. Materials D. Money Obviously 4 M's of not management. Friends, it is entrepreneurship development. So correct. In fact, you know, option is C. Materials Otherwise, as far as management is concerned, so men, machine, ma money and material, they they are the four M's of management. Now here, since we are talking about entrepreneurship development, so the terms are little bit changed. Question number 12. Which, is, which of the list below does not form intellectual property? So here, actually the list I have not been able to provide, but if it is asked, then obviously, as far as intellectual property is concerned, it is not for tangible assets. It is all trademarks, patents, copyrights. They are basically termed as intellectual property rights. So correct option is C. Question number 13. The T in a pistol analysis refers to this everybody might be aware about. I guess. Options are here A. Time B. Technology C. Training D. Talent so it's B technology. Question number 14. A business arrangement where one party allows another party to use a business name and sell its product or services is known as options are A a cooperative, B a franchise, C an owner manager business, D a limited company. So correct option is A sorry B a franchise. Question number 15. What is the role of a business? Angel or NJ basically, Angel it is. Options are to provide a small business advice, B to provide capital for business development in exchange for a stake in the business ownership, C to set up a franchise business, D to assist an entrepreneur to open a lifestyle business. So correct option is B to provide capital for business development in exchange for a stake in the business ownership. Question number 16. A key aspect of the financial section of the business plan is option A. A statement of the management skills. Option B. A realistic sales forecast. Option C. Production capacity. Option D. A description of competitors. So here correct option is B. A realistic sales forecast. Question number 17. Which of the following describes unemployment? A. The number of people who voluntarily choose not to work. B. The number of people who are jobless and are actively seeking work. C. The number of people who are not actively seeking work. D. The number of people actively seeking work who find work. Correct option is B. The number of people who are jobless and are actively seeking work. Question number 18. Idea of a new product is tested in the potential consumers to determine consumer acceptance at dash stage. Options are A. Concept B. Product development C. Test marketing D. Commercialization. So it's C. Test marketing. Question number 19. Which one of the following is not considered as one of the building blocks of the model entrepreneur? A. Technical skills. B. Management competencies. C. Business awareness. D. Personal attributes. So it's C. Business awareness. Question number 20. Which of the following factors does not? Does the macro environment not include a 
mind it, it's macro environment. Options are political and regulatory frameworks, customer needs in a given market, social and demographic factors, D, technological changes. So just remember pestle. Correct option is B, customer needs in a given market. Question number 21. Which of the following statements is false? Electronic commerce. A. Can allow new ventures to compete on more or less equal terms with large firms. B. Can lead to small businesses having reduced contact with its customers. C. Is rarely used in small businesses. D. Is used in many different industries and markets. Correct option is C. Is rarely used in small businesses. Question number 22. Strategic entrepreneurial marketing has been summarized as the four I's identification of the markets, interactive marketing methods, informal intelligence gathering, and what is the fourth one? So options here are in independence, instructiveness, innovation, internet. So correct option is C, innovation. Question number 23. An entrepreneur who owns more than one business at a time is called as a. An entrepreneur, intrapreneur, B. A corporate entrepreneur, C. A portfolio entrepreneur, D. None of the above. Correct option is a portfolio entrepreneur. Question number 24. Industries producing complete articles for direct consumption and also processing industries is called as dash A. Manufacturing industries, B. Feeder industries, C. Service industries, D. Mining or querying industries so correct option is a manufacturing industries question number 25 TAS is primarily concerned with the identification qualification and evaluation of the project resources so obviously here it's feasibility analysis from among the options techno economic analysis input analysis and financial analysis b is the correct answer Question number 26. Resource requirement in project becomes constant while the project is in its dash stays. A. 40 to 50%. B. 55 to 70%. C. 70 to 80%. D. 80 to 95%. Correct is 80 to 95%. 27. Underestimation of project cost leads to A. Time underrun. Cost underrun. Time overrun, cost overrun, obviously it's cost overrun. 28. New entrepreneurs entering the field of medium industry for the first time can have market studies with subsidiary of A. 75% of the cost or rupees 15,000 which where is less. B. 75% of the cost or rupees 15,000 which where is high. C. 50% of the cost or rupees 15,000 which where is less. And 50% of the cost or Rupees 15,000 whichever is high. Correct option is A. 75% of the cost or 15,000 whichever is less. 29. Decisions which are concerned with the policy matters and exercise fundamental influence on the objectives of the organization is called as this. A. Organizational decisions. B. Personal decisions. C. Routine decisions. D. Strategic decisions. So here correct option is D. Strategic decisions. Question number 30. This is the last question of this video tutorial. Section 80 HHB provides for a deduction of dash of profits and gains earned by a resident Indian company. So correct option is here D 50%. So this is all in this particular video tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel our classes because this is this channel contains huge content quality content on different management subjects and interview questions which may trap you in your job interviews thanks for watching for any query you can write to our classes at gmail.com more video tutorials on different subjects are available on my youtube channel our class thank you please like share and subscribe thank you very much